welcome to the third installment of uh, my Let's Play series of Pathfinder Kingmaker. I'm Jason Bullman, I'm the uh, creator of the Pathfinder role-playing game, and uh, in the past two sessions I have been tasked with founding a kingdom in the Stolen Lands. I have traveled there uh, with a fair uh, number of boon companions, and I am now uh, deep in uh, the process of trying to uh, root out uh, a uh, villain called the Stag Lord, uh, but his base is hidden from me by a mysterious fog. The key to getting rid of this fog is at the Elk uh, Lodge or the Elk Temple, uh, which I have just located. Uh, but before I go there, um, it uh, I met a companion on the road who told me that I should come talk to him if I ever found that temple. All right, well, I've had a chance to uh, chat with some of my fellow adventurers. I've chatted with that cleric, and I don't think he's going to be coming along to join me. Um, so after doing a bunch of selling and buying and inventory management, uh, I think it's time to no head back out. Now. now I should note, when I first arrived here, there was a small little quest that popped up, and uh, I kind of cut it out of the beginning because I didn't really think it would make sense out of context, so why don't I show that to you right now. What's this? Another problem, Oleg. A feral pig? D tusk gutter. There's a James Jacobs name, if I've ever heard one. Hunting down a boar. Hunting down a James Jacobs-inspired boar. Absolutely! Yes, we will certainly go kill this evil pig. <laughs> I know where, know where Tusk Gutter's lair is. I will go and do that first, maybe. Alright, so as you uh, just saw... There is a uh, big boar I have to try and go hunt. Um, that sounds like a fun quest, so maybe I'll try and do that here in the near future. Alright, so here I am on the overland map. I've got a couple choices open uh, up to me. I've got the ancient tomb, which is where uh, my rival supposedly is. That might be worth investigating. Uh, in addition, I've got Tusk Gutter's Lair down here, which is uh, where the boar is. And last but not least, I have the Temple of the Elk. All of these are kind of important to me, uh, some more so than others. So, I suppose it's probably time for me to decide where to go. Uh-oh. Random monster on the road. The Technic League? Slavers? This is no good. These guys are probably quite powerful. Yeah, they're from Numeria. I'll be lucky if they don't have a laser gun. Well, I suppose we can try fighting him. Alright. Well, charging up to take care of the, some of the back row with Amiri may help me, may cause my doom. I guess we'll find out. 
Oh no. Falcon has gone down. That's very bad. Well, it looks like Amiri is cleaning up the uh, back row uh, spellcasters, but this is going to go really poorly unless I can uh, take down some of these swordsmen. Do not falter! Falcon, Falcon got up and then fell right back down, so he's really badly hurt. Oh boy, I have some pretty badly hurt people here. Here's hoping this plays out. Did he just fall down? <laughs> Get back up and right. fall right down. Me, Gorum! Oh my god. I just hit him for 35 and he didn't go down. Yeah. This is really bad. How many hit points do these yeah. guys have? Yeah. I better get Lindsay out of there. You can't keep this up much longer. I certainly can't. Justice. Two hit points was not enough. Onwards. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Wow, that was a rough fight. <laughs> Please, everyone, get back up. Oh my god. That was really rough. <laughs> blindness? How the... How could I rem get rem blindness removed? <laughs> my main character is permanently blind. That is a serious problem. <laughs> Okay, well, first Anything off, let me loot some bodies. Sure. Oh, I have an S stock. There is a exotic weapon that you only see out there in the Technic League. Time to look in my equipment and see if I have a scroll of remove blindness. Boy, that would be useful. No. 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 Maybe I have a potion of remo Oh, hey! Handy! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Amazing! I happen to have just the right potion that I needed. That is super useful. Might be time to uh, maybe make camp. I might as well do so here because everybody is very badly hurt. Good as the Can rest of condition is going to Oh no! Was that a Was that a shocker lizard? What was oh my god, it's a shocker lizard. And so they walked on. So a shocker lizard is a uh it's a three point five monster. I'm kind of surprised it's actually in this game. Um there isn't much to it. It's uh it's a lizard with electricity attacks, so it's not really uh, particularly special. Um, if they're very, very dangerous if you fight them in large groups. Uh, you definitely good, don't want to be doing that. Boring. A block, a lunge, all with a shield in your hand. Where's the fun in that? Just imagine, hit one in the ear, the other in the jaw, 
and punch the third one so hard he sees above the clouds. If it weren't for my shield, the whole party would spend all we have on healing potions. You like cracking skulls, and I'm perfectly content with that. But you'd better let me watch your back. It'll be a lot safer for you. All right. <laughs> well, looks like we got some inter-party banter there between Amiri and uh, uh, Valeri. That's cute. Looks like I rested successfully. Oh no. But it also looks like I'm having some sort of nightmare. Falcon Telomir suddenly awoke inside the house. Dogs were howling fiercely not far away. It smelled like burning. The wooden walls were steaming hot in the smoke. The smoke wreathed beneath the low ceiling. The instant he approached the window, the glass broke and an arrow hit him in the chest. Falling, he glimpsed a dozen dark figures standing outside, his eyes dimmed. Falcon Talamir's skin felt cold. He heard the murmur of water and the soft lapping of waves. After opening his eyes, he saw a rocky river beneath him and a bloated body tangled in the green water weeds. The drowned man's empty gaze was fixed upon Falcon Talamir. His mouth opened slowly and a hoarse whisper said, Shrike River, Falcon Talamir. At this moment, Falcon Talamir finally awoke, drenched in sweat. He told us what he had seen in the dream. I mean, I, I, I guess he told me what, what I saw in the, in the dream. All right, yeah, sure. All right, well, we've all healed up a bit. I think it's uh, about time we get going. Now that we're taking care of these technically thugs. behind that junk. Alright, after dealing with them, the insidious henchmen of the ominous Technic League have disappeared into the thick wilderness of the mysterious Stolen Lands, but not for long. Soon we'd be upon them. First, though, we'd have to pick up their trail. I think Knowledge World is going to be our best bet. See if there's anyone we could have found who's seen them. Ah, we met some mushroom gatherers and hunters who told us where they'd seen our quarry. We hadn't discovered the exact position of their camp, but we're closing in. We're going to try to knowledge nature. Ah, damn. We failed the knowledge nature track, as I've heard before, the stolen ones are a mystery covered in a thicket. And not just any thicket, but an especially dense one, the henchmen of the ominous Technic League, who, as we recall, are insidious. Use this particularity and peculiarity of the landscape to cover the trail. We wandered around the forest for a long time, soaked our feet in the swamp, and got scratched all over by wild raspberry, but at last we found their camp. A rest is in order. Alright, so we found the camp of the Technic League. They are located there, which is uh, quite a danger. Boy, that one random encounter sure did turn into quite the diversion. Uh -uh, I seem to be fatigued. Maybe another night's rest. We managed to rest. Everyone's in very good condition now. So I guess it's time to push on. Alright. Time to see what my uh, rivals are up to. So, I've entered the ancient tomb in search of Tartuccio. This is done. Move forward a little bit here. Looks like there's a box over on one side. Oh no, what's that? One of Tartuccio's mercenaries. 
Why is it that I think there's probably more around? Adventures await. Probably smart for me to cast Bless. I'm gonna pause it. I'm gonna cast I Bless. Like I thought. I'm going to fire up Bardic Music. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and rage. Here. I don't think uh, she has anything. Particularly useful. Maybe demoralize the guy. Ah, so. Oh, and on that note, there they are. There's a whole bunch of them. Okay. Time to get going. Oh, hey. Down that one went. That turned into a bit of a mess really quickly. Where is she here? Valerie, demoralize this guy next. Make him feel bad. Alright. Let's see, Seriously, make sure right. everyone is fighting appropriately. Two down. Oh no, enlarged. <laughs> oh, I need to take care of you quickly. I cannot have you being that big of a problem. You deserve it. Yeah, a spellcaster. Oh, oh, you poor fool! I have killed all your friends, and you are next. Well, that would be that. Tartuccio needs better minions. No stopping now. Adventures call to them. Right, I need you to go grab treasure and avoid traps. Get going, you. Shield of faith and a bunch of money. That's always useful. Now, what did I see over here? Something worth investigating. A head with a single eye. Oh, creepy. Is this an old Cyclops ruin? Is that what we're looking at? I suppose that could be possible. Oh, there's some bodies I should go loot. Not going to pick up the heavy stuff, but... A longsword that might be magic, we will certainly take. Alright. Now, we've defeated all the thugs here, so I'm going to go ahead and save, because that's the prudent thing to do before I continue my dungeon exploration here. Who knows how many foe more foes there are down here. I have to say, I really appreciate the look of this dungeon. It does look pretty cool. Well... Looks like I've done part of the journey. I don't know where that goes yet, so I'm going to explore down this hallway first. What's that? Oh, hey, danger! That's what that is. Anything is possible. Anything else? Um, now, now that you've gotten the treasure. Garnet ring, some coins, and a scroll of Ravel Raven Feeblement. Not bad. Could be more useful. Hmm. Right. Lots of strange carvings down in this dungeon. I suppose it's time to press on. I must go find Tortuccio. Well, as I left the dungeon, it looks like uh, Tortuccio has fled. Before me, I fought some of his bandits, but he himself has tried to make a run for it. I think I'm going to try this lore nature check and see if I can follow him. We have done so. Huh. There's a couple different options here. We might want to try lore nature to determine more about the claw marks. Failed. Lots of attackers, and they were rather small. Is that magic might tell us something? Hmm. 
illusion magic does seem like something Tortuccio would be good at. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me if Tortuccio uh, fled from the uh, attack, leaving his companions to uh, suffer a terrible fate. I bet you that's what happened. That seems like what a terrible, awful gnome would do. Way down was steep, and it took some time to reach the bottom. Walking on the loose soil was difficult, but the clawed footsteps were easy to spot. The bottom of the gully went downhill deeper and deeper. Finally, the footprints turned, whirled up the steep slope, and disappeared at the gully's edge. Huh. Whoever it was, was able to climb quite a steep wall. Yeah, we could try the mobility to get up, but I don't think this is going to succeed. I think if we're going to try it, we should probably let Amiri do it. She has a bonus? Well, actually, looks like we're going to uh, try to have the Bard do it. Get up there, Bard! Looks like she made it. Looks like we've uh, managed to climb up out of the gully and are now hot on the trail of our quarry. Alright, so after the uh, narrative piece there of following uh, Tortuccio and running into his battle site, we have followed the single trail of footprints and uh, arrived here at this site. It is done! Listen to me! A dragon, huge, sparkling, flew down to me from the sky and told me a secret. A great relic that will win the kobold's glory is hidden somewhere nearby. Enough of this pitiful existence. Search for it. Search and bring it to me. Oh no. <laughs> so, Tortuccio, he's a kobold. Uh, I really love these little guys. Uh, kobolds uh, were one of the creatures I had a great deal of influence with in the early days of Pathfinder. Um, one of the things that's really unique about them is that the kobolds have different colored scales depending on their dragon parentage. They're all kind of related to dragons. Looks like all of these are red. But Tartuccio is purple, which makes him a very weird mutant kind of outcast. <laughs> or is it Tartuccio pretending to be a kobold? That's what it's starting to look like it is. All right. You silly jester. I knew he would come, was purple. and I've prepared an ambush for you! Oh, come on now. To victory! Is that what we're doing? Are we seriously fighting all of these kobolds? Alright, well... My boy's going. My rage going. Just kobolds. Should be able to smash the hell out of them. <laughs> A critical hit for one. <laughs> kobolds. Not much of a threat. <laughs> this is going to be over in just half a second. Oh, there it is. <laughs> So Tortuccio is pretending to be a kobold, a purple one. <laughs> and uh, there's a little bit of loot floating around here. Let's see what I can get. Looks like a recipe for haggis. Oh, yes. I am ridiculously excited about that. I am taking all of that. Leave no stone unturned. I am going to make the best haggis the stolen lands have ever seen. 
All right, I'm gonna make the only Haggis the Stone Lance has ever seen, but whatever. <laughs> Chase down this wretched kobold. All right, it appears that Tortuccio has fled in the guise of a purple kobold to the old sycamore. Uh, and despite the fact that I'm relatively close to there right now, it's not actually currently even an option for me to advance. I need to leave that spot. To be honest, I think Tortuccio and his kobolds can wait. Alright, so I've made it to the old ford. I can now cross over the water. Alright, well, I think I want to make my way to the Temple of the Elk. I don't know that I want to deal with the technically just yet. Uh-oh. I've been spotted by enemies. Alright, there are enemies nearby and I don't know what they are. This could be very dangerous. Is that a goblin? Serves oh. you right. Let's murder him. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't second edition yet. But you're still a monster. I need inspiration. What is going on? Oh boy. We can do it! A goblin alchemist? Oh no, he's come from second edition. <laughs> Cheeky. <laughs> Go ahead, fire that crossbow now. Let's see how where it gets you. Oh, this guy is no joke. <laughs> Having a hard time hitting my goblin buddy here. Protect me, please. All right. Alchemist is shockingly good. <laughs> All right, I think I got him. <laughs> Get over there. Not even any alchemical items. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Well, it's pretty obvious I can get to the technically camp pretty easily if I want to. Alright, we'll give it a try. I mean, we're right here. Might as well see what we can do. See if we can take down the Technic League. Wrap up this quest. <laughs> Think that's it.
taking all of the loot. Applause, please. Oh. A shining shell. Alright. Can I talk to them? Yes, let me free the prisoners. Charge! Oh, hey there. Uh, oh boy. Okay. Well, I freed the prisoners, and the first thing they did is start a fight. So... <clears throat> thanks, I guess? <laughs> hey! Can someone help me? Mary's gone down, that's a big problem for me. I desperately need to take the down. lesson there. <laughs> when you get a summoner, take them down. All of their summoned creatures go with them. Oh no. So it looks like the two prisoners are arguing over whether or not they should kill her. Well, in the name of Ioma Day. That's how that had to go. <laughs> now, I'm a paladin, so, you know, executions are a thing? <laughs> I'm not sure what's up with that. That's a bit, uh, that's a bit beyond what I expected. Well, it looks like, uh, I've got some chatting to do with Octavia and, uh, her, uh, companion. Oh, well, all right then. Uh, I guess I chatted with them a little bit and, uh, they have joined up my team. So I now have two additional characters. Um, who have joined my team. Kind of interested to uh, see what their deal is. Uh, I have a level 2 chaotic evil. I'm not sure I should be associated with a chaotic evil Eldritch Zion. And a uh, level 2 chaotic good rogue wizard. Well, she's far more useful than the evil dude. Well, while I'm here, I might as well loot. Alright, well, they have uh, joined up with my band, and I went from having a rather uh, nice, tidy four adventurers to having a Grand Neo 6 in my band now, so I'm going to head Onwards. back this way and find my way off this map and back out to adventure. Well, that was a uh, rather unexpected development. I've got a couple new characters uh, attached to my party. Um, one of which looks an awful lot like a Magus. Um, so that's pretty exciting. I guess I should make my way to the Temple of the Elk. I 
what we should probably say first. Alright, I've saved up. Alright, well I've arrived here at the Temple of the Elk and I spent a few moments uh, healing out my party, so it looks like I'm just about ready to go. Dangerous beasts, huh? That's going to be a problem. Guards and tokens of the Druid's Evil Magic. Uh oh. Well, we'll see how this goes. <clears throat> All right. What's Temple that? Erastal symbols. That's nice. Yeah, you can just make them out on the front of the pillars. What are we looking at here? Primal giant frogs. Oh no. Tear them apart. <laughs> No, these, these frogs are not. All right. Well, that would look like it for the giant primal frogs. Oh no, is this the source of the fog? Doesn't seem like enough. That is the symbol of Erastal. This does explain much about him being called the Stag Lord, at least. Oh no. Say bear like treant? Charge! Oh, this is a very serious problem. Are all okay, there, telekinetic fist. That's not bad. We're going to need to get her within range first, though. Right now, we'll start attacking it. Oh, Serenrack, I see your light. Alright, we got a lot of spell effects up and running now. Oh, uh, go ahead. Won't give up. Hit her with a snowball. Oh no, Falcon got very badly hurt by that. <laughs> one. Falcon almost got uh, knocked out there. I tire of waiting. I'll take what I can get. Some tenderloin. No skin, though. Tristian. I swear, never have I been so glad to meet a stranger. Even with the power granted me by Saren Ray. I almost lost. You have my thanks. Please, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Tristian. Huh. And I have never spoken to nymphs, but I believe their assessment is accurate. The creatures occupying this temple are far from ordinary animals. The power that moved them here is related to the fog. The beasts hold the fog as anchors hold a ship dancing in the waves. From what I can tell, once the beasts are defeated, the fog should begin to clear. You are very kind. Kindness to strangers is in short supply these days. But worry not. Saren Ray's priests are skilled in the healing arts. I can heal myself. Could you pass some of that along? Because we could, uh... <clears throat> we could really use some. <laughs> I was investigating this fog. 
I believe you have already discerned that it is magical in nature. I serve Serenray, goddess of sunlight. Discovering an evil magic that isolated living creatures from the sun alarmed me in no small way. I was able to locate the place the fog originated from, but was too presumptuous and almost got into the beast's teeth. I will wait for you. This fog bothers me. So there are more creatures that need to be defeated. All right. I can't keep this up much longer. Oh, what was that? 15 damage? Oh, that sucks. <laughs> that thing hits like a Mack truck. Anybody else want to get into the fight here? <laughs> Please get up there and do some murder. I would greatly appreciate it. I'll cut you! Evil pig. Wolves. Oh, I almost want to uh get to Martha. victory. I'm just gonna play the wolves the same way I got played in the previous encounter. If I keep them locked away, only one of them can fight me because of the terrain. All right. 
right, we've got some people that are pretty badly hurt now. But I think... It looks like... The fog has been lifted. Time to go back up and talk. It looks like I've accomplished my goal and conquered the Temple of the Elk. Praised be Saren Ray. Now, if my knowledge serves, the fog should weaken and eventually clear entirely. We need only wait. <laughs> Please wait. You saved my life. I have no treasures or relics, but I have knowledge and the divine power of a priest. I oh, wish I could, to aid you in your journeys. I could definitely use a Thank priest. Thank you. I hope I will be of help. Absolutely. Hey there, wounded guy. Go home. <laughs> That's one way to solve your wounded problem. How may I help? Listen to the faithful channel positive energy. There it is. Plenty of useful magic. Look at that. Everyone's back up to full. I've got a full party. I sent the evil guy home. The Temple of the Elk has been a rousing success. Alright, well, here we are back at the world map after conquering the Temple of the Elk. I can see that uh, Oleg's trading post is quite a ways away, and uh, I can make my way up there. But I also just realized that Tusk Gutter's Lair is right nearby. So, after conquering the Temple of the Elk, I think I'm going to call it an end to uh, part three of my playthrough of Pathfinder Kingmaker, and I'll pick up uh, part four with going to uh, take uh, my blade to one nasty pig. So uh, I hope you will join me then. Make sure to like and subscribe to get more on this channel. Thanks for watching.